another amazing bright day here on another farm. My name is Efum Hine and this, this is Efum TV. Thank you for subscribing to our channel, watching our videos. If today is your first time on this channel, please click on the subscribe button, share this video and then leave us a comment or a question, whatever suggestion that you have, we'll be glad to get back to you. On this channel, we talk about anything agribusiness, agriculture, farming. So here on this farm today, we are going to talk about greenhouse snail farming and where we have taken the innovation to. We are in Brekusu. Brekusu is in the eastern region of Ghana, um, closer to Kwabenya. So here we have built this five-roomed greenhouse. I say five room because it's one large greenhouse which has been departmented or separated into five different rooms. And I'll take you around the project, show you the, the dimensions, the sizes we did it, and then why we had to separate the rooms or demarcate the rooms into five separate parts. So this is a hundred feet by 30 feet greenhouse. A hundred by 30 feet greenhouse which are, which has been demarcated into 20 by 30 20 by 30 20 by 30 so five rooms we have here if you look at this greenhouse right off the back you realize that the shade netting is not the same as you see in our other videos this is the green shade netting it doesn't change anything it's just the color so it doesn't change normally we use black on our uh, greenhouses but this one is green now when you enter the greenhouse um, this project is still under construction, so I'm just about to show you what we are doing so far. As soon as you enter, you see that we are now leveling the floor, uh, uh, putting the uh, black soil on the greenhouse. But this is a 20 by 30 greenhouse. A 20 by 30 greenhouse. And then we are going to grow our crops. We are just to fix our uh, sprinklers, overhead sprinklers with our poly tank. We have... Uh, 8,000 liter poly tank that we are going to put on this thing. We are going to put a pump on it and it's going to, you know, sprinkle or water this whole greenhouse across. You can see that the height, this greenhouse is relatively shorter. Normally our greenhouses are 9 feet high, but this is 7 feet. 7 feet because this is a client specification. So you see, we do it uh, to custom size too. So you want it tall, you want it short, and I'll give you the reasons why the client requested for a shorter greenhouse this time around. Our environment, we are actually in a small forest. You can see the whole greenery, a lot of trees around. This helps provide a lot of shade too. It gives us a lot of shade so that the snails will be very comfortable if you put them in here and the sun is not going to disturb them that much. And this is our second uh, room here. This is also another 20 by 30 greenhouse. Everything is set. Um, we are here to, um, like I said, grow the crops, do the sprinklers, put the greenhouse into juice. On each of our greenhouses, we, we choose the best of material. I mean, it's the best or nothing. So everything that you see here uh, is chosen uh, with quality in mind because we want everything that we do to stand the test of time. This time around, you can see that everywhere where we, we weld, every metal, the, the parts of the metal where we weld, we paint it with a black, black paint to an anti-rusting paint to prevent rusting. So these are all the innovations that we are putting into greenhouse and these are also based of experiences that we've had with uh, projects over the years we've been doing this for some time now so we have the experience and we're able to adapt and then make new changes as we move on this is our third room and you can see in this third room we did a lot of you know designs and you know fabrications this is so because the topography of this place this place was very steep you see and so we had to do it in such a way that it will not be too high at one point so we had to slant it this way so that we can get a, a uniform height of the greenhouses each room will have the same uniform height so this is the third room we've put our rubber on it 
and this rubber is to prevent the snails from eating the um, blocks, the concrete blocks, because blocks with time turn salty. So the snails will like to lick the salt of the blocks. So we put a rubber, um, polythene rubber there, so that the snails are not going to eat the blocks, which is not also good for them. So we move on to our third and fourth room. Fourth room, same, same. I mean, design. Nothing much changes here. Um, follows from the first way that we have shown so far. And these rooms are very spacious. And in the beginning, I told you that I was going to tell you why we had to demarcate the rooms or the great big greenhouse into five different rooms. So. This client is not a new client. We call it a repeat customer. So we did the first greenhouse, which I'm going to show you too in this video. We did the first greenhouses for them, which was about a 4,000 capacity greenhouse. And one of the reasons or one of the uses um, of, the, of the snails in there was that they were sliming the snails. They have a slimer, a snail sliming machine that takes slime from the snails so over time the challenge we were having was that when they take some of the snails out to slime and then we put them back the next time we are going to take another set of snails we don't know which ones were taking the first one you see so it is possible to slime one snail twice in a short period of time which is not advisable because you when you slime a snail you need time normally about three to four weeks for the snails to regain you know their strength or to regain their slime or the mucus back so if you slime them twice in that short period of time it can even lead to death and so sometimes we were recording some high mortality in that greenhouse so we came up with this idea that we are going to build one huge greenhouse demarcate them into separate rooms so that now if this week or today we come and then we take all the snails in here to slime we know that we slime snails from greenhouse number four so this will be g4 greenhouse four so the next time we know that we are not coming here to take the snails from another greenhouse number four again we are going to get the greenhouse number five or number three or number two or number one. so that is the major reason why we had to you know um, separate the rooms like this and working with the clients because they've had experiences on the first greenhouse it was amazing because they brought a lot of things to bear their experiences and like i said that is the reason why we are doing it even short this time around we see that um, the partition or the walkway sorry the walkway that we are going to use in this greenhouse is even going to be different yes and then we are going to put foam we are going to put foam all around inside the greenhouse to prevent the shells of the snails from cracking because that was also one major challenge that we had in our four, um, first greenhouse because the um, the greenhouse was very high the snails sometimes will climb the the net and then fall off the net and hit their shells on the metal here and then when they do that or on the blocks the shells get cracked and then they die eventually so we are able to solve that challenge too in this green house this is our final greenhouse the fifth and final one and you can see we have some staff working still to complete the project in some of the rooms that we entered you can see that we left some of the tree stamp or some of the shrubs in there and uh, that's because it's very important to maintain the natural environment as much as possible so if it is not going to cause any damage to the greenhouse and uh, what this means is that we have to be cutting this from time to time but it's going to also provide a lot of shade it's a beautiful uh, shrub or stamp so we've left some of them with the consent of the client we've left some of them inside the greenhouse to also help maintain our natural environment and vegetation as much as possible uh, this greenhouse was double netted the roof double netted roof what this means is that aside the first net we put another layer of shade nets so they are here to net these ones so this is to provide extra shade so on this project we are not leaving anything to chance 
this is to provide extra shade in the greenhouse so when this thing is done this is a 60 percent greenhouse so if you double net it you are getting about 75 or 80 percent shade so we are we are we are we are actually um putting a lot of thinking into how to make the greenhouse more sustainable and more friendly for the snails so guys this is what we've been doing so far i'm always excited anytime we go to any project and i want to show you what we've been doing there's always a new way to do stuff so if you are somebody who has also an, an idea sometimes when you go the clients will tell you okay i think this then we will tell you whether it's workable whether it's practicable or not and then we can implement i'm very much um appreciative of this client because the suggestions or the inputs they made in this greenhouse tells me that the first one that we made they were very observant they were they worked actually on their greenhouse so they were able to pinpoint exactly where the shortfalls and the shortcomings were and then they gave us even a bigger project to do and this project when completed when all the sprinklers have been failed, uh, fixed when all the plastering we are here to plaster the um, walls you know normally we'll plaster here to cover every possible gap that is under the net so that we don't allow any intruders inside the greenhouse you see that to all come up and form one big nice project so thank you for watching our videos as i always say there's always a way to go around farming a greek is on the boom farming is on the boom if you are a youth in ghana i advise you to choose a greek find something to do there's a whole lot of things that you can do crop farming you can enter into vegetable farming which is very much very lucrative and profitable now you can do snail farming pig farming and if you're an investor in the diaspora or outside ghana you want to come back and invest in ghana please go into the agri sector because there's a lot of mouths that we have to feed and we have to be self-sustainable as a country and that is why i would employ or i will indulge all of you to get into this space let's build ghana let's build um, africa through farming Thank you for watching this video. See you again on one of our most entertaining videos here on the Foam TV. Bye-bye.